Welcome back. Today we're here with our good friend and client, Russell Lord. Russell, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming back. So uh, I believe we've been reviewing some latest products from Fuji. I'm just wondering, look, we might come back and have a look later. I don't think it's this one. So this one. is great too. So uh, check back in shortly and we'll tell you all about the latest from Fuji. Welcome back to CETV. I'm Howard Frank from Camera Electronic, and today I've got with me Russell Lord, photographer all the way up from Margaret River. G'day Russell. How are you? Well, how are you? I'm great. So uh, we're well, talking about reviewing the latest product from Fujifilm. I believe it's the GFX 100S. Tell me all about it. Wow, I, I can, what, what can I say? Look at, look at this thing. It's a, what, 102 megapixel? And it is. It sounds like a beast. How does it fit in a camera that size? I've got no idea. So look, I know you've been playing with the Fujifilm products for a good few years now, and I think you've had the, the uh, GFX 50S and also the GFX 100, which is also the 102 megapixel. Is that right? Yeah, that's what I've been using for pretty much the last couple of years. Yep. Must be nice getting all that, uh, all those pixels in such a small camera now. Well, I shot with it the other day, and I shot with the X series as well. And you know that's great, but when you do look at the images on screen, it it's a massive difference. Yeah, so uh, I bet you can't wait to get your hands on a surf housing for this one. Oh, I've just spent so much money on a surf housing for the other ones, but I would, I'm going to have to put it past the wife, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's always pretty important. Look, I know, I know Katie pretty well as well, and, and she loves you spending money on camera gear. Oh, she loves it, she loves it. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so I, I know you've only had a short test with this, but tell me, how did you find it compared to the, the 50 meg and the other 100 meg? Um, it, was, it was really similar to the 50, especially in the hand, because yep. of the size. The, the 100 is a beast, it is a big camera. So, and all I did was really just walk around Frio and use it, so it was nice and light. And, you know, I'm stopping people on the street taking shots, and they weren't overly, you know, they weren't scared of it. You know, yep. the 100, they'd be a little bit more scared of. But it, yeah, it's more similar to the 50, but just double the punch. Yeah, and look, I know we've got the new 80mm 1.7 lens here, which I'd imagine is pretty nice for some portraits, but did you play with some of the other lenses too? I did, I played with all the lenses, well most of them that I have, but I haven't got the 80, so it was the first time I've used it. Yeah. And I, I thought, oh, I'm not gonna really buy it, you know, I've gotta justify this purchase, but I don't know, I think it's on the top of the list. It is pretty <laughs> nice, it's so, very nice. So what'd you shoot with the 80? So what, what did you shoot with the 80? Oh, I just did a couple of portraits and just little bits and pieces around Frio, you know. We had a photo shoot lined up and, you know, then the weather came in, the skateboard didn't want to skate. So normally, you know, I'd be shooting surf and, yeah. and ocean lifestyle. So it was basically just people working around Frio. Yeah. Well, look, I know that's your, your main bag, shooting surf and sort of beach lifestyle stuff, but... You know, I know you've shot weddings and all sorts of other things in the past as well, and you know you've always been good with people from your fireman days too. So um, I'm sure you had no problems going around the streets and getting some good candid stuff. No, it was good. Oh, well, I had Hank with me yesterday, and he loves a chat, so he was kind of doing all that work for me. And but today, I I had a pretty good success rate. Nearly everyone got a portrait. It was good. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome. So in that situation, are you sort of sending files out to those people after of their shots or not? When, when they're working and stuff like that and I'm going into their workplace, I, I'll say, look, I'll send you a few shots. That sort of uh, gets them over the line. And yeah. then the rest, of, the rest of the crew were just randoms on the street and they, they were fine with it. Yeah, cool. So what were the files like out of this? Yeah, they're amazing. They, they look really good. The files are... You just blow it up to 100% and the detail's the next level. It's If you get one of these cameras, you're not going back to anything else. Yeah. And uh, colours, good out of the camera? Colours are great. Fuji colours are, they must spend a lot of time on their colour profiles, it's good. Yeah, okay. And battery life? I mean, I know you've only had a short test, how was that? Yeah, it's hard to say. Like, it's, um, if, I think it was pretty good. A lot yep. better than the X series ones, for sure. Yeah, cool. I mean, it's, I mean, I didn't play with it enough to really, and if I was on a job, I'd notice it, but I didn't yeah. really notice it running out and stuff like that, so it was good. Yeah, cool. And did you take some quick shots in succession? I think it's about five and a half or six frames a second, something like that. I didn't actually. I didn't press the trigger down. I mean, 
I've only just started using that with my one as well because yeah. I just t just taking concentrating on certain shots and one shot. I haven't oh. been. You've always been a trigger. one shot guy, like the the one shot docker. You did. You should check that out, guys. Too, it's really cool. Yeah, yeah. It's all about just that one shot, and you, I mean, you just press the trigger at the right time. But I have played with it on my camera and was quite surprised how quick it was, especially yeah. you know for a medium format. Oh, definitely. Well, they actually say it's large format now because it's so many pixels, which is of course amazing. Viewfinder coverage, how was that? It was all good, super clear, easy to see what was in focus. Uh, yeah, really nice. Yeah, and did you bump up the ISO or play with low light at all? I did, I bumped it up for a guy in a bike shop and um, maybe to well above 3000. Yeah, okay. And then I was kind of bragging to the files with Hank when he was looking over my shoulder doing that. And I said, I shot this over, look, there's nothing, there's no. You, you can't see any grain or anything. It's, it's amazing how it's come, like where it's come from. So if we can't convince Katie, maybe we need to convince Hank to buy one that you can use. I, I think Hank might, might get one for sure. Yeah, that'd be cool. So anything else that you liked about it in comparison to the others? Just in the hand, it felt good. It yeah. felt really good. And it's easy to use. They've gone back to a couple of dials. And I mean, with the 100, you've, kind, you've got to really have it in the hand a lot longer yeah. because you know the buttons all the buttons do do something different if you yeah, hit one and you don't know what you've done it's kind of hard to get back to <laughs> that's happened to me in the past but i mean i didn't look at a an instruction manual or anything yeah. it was it was easy so i mean how does that go a lot of your stuff for for those that don't know i mean you're either in the water in a in a wetsuit holding the camera up like this in a housing and shooting down barrels of waves or off the back of a jet ski or a boat or something like that, you know, shooting for ages at a time. Does a smaller sort of lighter camera like this with still the great output make much difference for you compared to the bigger, heavier ones? Oh, it makes a difference over time for sure. Definitely compared to the, the 100, but you know, what would I say? You know, it does make a difference, but it just makes a difference when you're working with people mostly. Yeah. And look, I know you're coming off shoulder surgery and I know that's not pleasant. I had it a while ago too. Did you find this good just to walk around single-handed and not having to worry about the second hand coming into it? Yeah, yeah, easy to easy to handle and been having shoulder surgery. I used my 100 the other day and I was a bit sore, but um, this has been fine. Yeah, cool, cool. So um, I guess it'd be good to actually get it down to Mark's, get into the surf a bit and, uh, and shoot off the back of the ski and then maybe eventually get uh, Aquatech to make a housing for us. That'd be nice. I think, I don't want to talk out of turn, but I think it's coming. Because this actually, they've already got the, the drawings yeah, and, okay. and it fits. Because it's so hard to make a, a new kind of housing, so it fits in one of their larger housings, so they just need to yeah. do something. I mean, maybe a small way. mod on the, on the housing for the 50S might work or something. Yeah, yeah, it'd be good for sure. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay, well, thanks for us. Sounds great. And, um, I look forward to uh, seeing some more images from it, especially from the surf stuff. Yeah, I'd love to have it for a long time, actually. I've got a couple of good jobs coming up that would be perfect for it. Yeah, awesome. Cool. Well, thanks very much, Russell Lord, and thank you for watching, everybody, and we'll be back soon. Thanks for watching everybody. We've been really uh, getting very excited about the number of subscribers we've been getting through to our YouTube channel lately, and we're getting close to a thousand people. We'd love to achieve that milestone together with your help. So if you like what you see today, please like and subscribe, follow the link below, and you can go in the draw for the rest of the month of March. Everybody that likes and subscribes and follows the link will go in the draw to win a $500 camera electronic voucher. Nice. Are you going to enter? Yeah, for sure. I'm going to get everyone to enter in my family. I'm going to win that. What are you going to buy? Oh, I'm not sure. I might just put that in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be something I'll be putting it towards maybe this 80 mil. Yeah, awesome. For sure. If you want to see more, please, like we said, hop on, have a look, cameraelectronic.com.au. Follow our YouTube channel, which is Camera Electronic Channel. We love photography. Please come back and share the journey with us.